pleasant good morning. These devotions are brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. I am the Venerable Hugh Bartlett Jr., Archdeacon of the East Central Bahamas Archdeaconry and the Rector of St. Anne's Church, Foxhill, New Providence, Bahamas. Today we remember the conversion of St. Paul as we may be aware, Paul, a Jew, converted to Christianity, a faith which those, the followers of then followers of Jesus were espousing and he was vehemently against it and became perhaps its greatest advocate. May we pray. God, by the preaching of your apostle Paul, you have caused the light of the gospel to shine throughout the world. Grant, we pray, that we, having his wonderful conversion and remembrance, may show ourselves thankful to you by following his holy teaching through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. This is a verse of scripture from Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, which is the gospel lesson a part of the gospel lesson for the conversion of St. Paul. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpent and innocent as dove. Matthew 10 and verse 16. Our text is reflecting on some instructions given to the early Christians for missionary work. The text anticipates that Christians will at times experience opposition to their message, yet we are expected to assume the posture of vulnerability like sheep that are animals that offer little resistance against attack. And despite the fact that we are expected to encounter such personalities, such as the wolf, we are to remain humble and be persons who offer ourselves in service. Wolves, as many of us are aware, are aggressive predatory animals. For Christians to deal with the environment, we are instructed to be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. In Genesis, the serpent is described as more crafty than any other wild animal. Craftiness represents clever or smart ways of dealing with things. In our colloquial language, we would call such a person slick, which minus the negative connotation of a dishonest personality and use the word in a pure way, then it could describe how a Christian ought to deal with situations. In the parable of the shrewd manager, the manager was asked to give an account of his stewardship. And he got that label of being shrewd because of his creativity in collecting some of the funds owed to his landlord and simultaneously he made friends. Being as innocent as a dove speaks to our ability to maintain a genuine attitude in all situations. We should look for the best in others despite at times their flaws are evident to our senses. All of this thought here about being, in, being genuine in our attitude speaks to us being able to allow God to work through us and to love even our enemies. God bless you. May we pray. The grace of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for listening to these devotions this morning. And if possible, please share with a friend.